Hey, I just found out something really cool that ChatGPT can do, okay? And that is it can read a CSV file across the Internet. Let me show you exactly what I'm going to talk about here, okay? Let's go open up our favorite web browser. And so let's go to ChatGPT. Now let's go find some rant, not necessarily rant, let's go find some data. We're going to find some data from uh, one of my favorite data sources, which is Our World in Data. That's ourworldindata.org. But we're actually going over here to we're going over here to GitHub, where all the repositories are. So you can see there at the, at the GitHub slash Our World in Data slash Our World in Data dash data set. So the data set. We're going to take the second one here. We're going to come over here. Here's the data. Click on the data again. Click on raw. Then you go come up here. Okay. Come back over here. All done done is paste it in the URL. Essentially, work and leisure. And so now, so now it's describing the data. Now it could be taking this from a description that's actually part of the link. I'm not really sure, but anyway, we can see what to say here. Uh, link uh, published in 2009. The data set information Americans spent their times on a daily basis, 1900 to 2005. The data covers several aspects of life, including time spent. Uh, on work, paid work, housework, leisure activities, and so forth. The data set includes variables such as date, average hours worked per week, percentage of people employed, average hours of leisure per day, and so forth, and so forth. The data is a CSV format. Okay, so, so let's see. Let's see uh, sure. So there's the date. Now it's given us the sample data. Okay. So it read, it read the column headings and it read the uh, and it read the, the the first what ten or probably ten ten rows I'm guessing I'm not really sure. Now now it's describing a call. Now, it looks like I ran into a little bit of problem here, but that's okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look look what it just did.
Look at this. Is this is this unbelievable or what? Now, obviously, the column headings don't match up, but uh, okay. So it's given us the hours and years. Okay. Okay, so it just gave us the output from the describe function in uh, in Python. It wrote and executed Python code. Is that is that unbelievable or what? Anyway, that's it for right now, man. That, that, to me, this is a, this is this is an incredible feature. It's an incredible feature. It's one thing to tell you how to write the code. It's another to actually write the code and run it for you. Anyway, that's it for right now, folks. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, it's a really, really cool feature, in my, in my opinion. So anyway, that's a brief seven-minute video. Hope you find it interesting and encouraging and helpful, okay?